Hi, I'm Randy Hahn, and welcome to another exciting adventure in overhead paging and background music. Uh, today we're looking at the uh, Viking model PAIP, oh, PA, pardon me, PA15, and uh, this little box here is basically a self-contained 15 watt amplifier uh, that can drive about eight 8 ohm speakers. Um, the kit that I bought <clears throat> actually came with <clears throat> five uh, speaker horns, very low, very low, uh, low cost speaker horns, and I've got them all wired in here today. Um, we're going to go ahead and do a little test here. Uh, I'll show you a little bit of a clear picture of uh, how this thing is hooked up here. Um, on the bottom here, uh, one of the first things you get to know, it's, uh, it's got a 13.6 volt AC adapter. <clears throat> so please don't make a mistake and use a 12 volt AC adapter, it just, it just won't work. <clears throat> you've got three controls, you've got a ring control, <clears throat> you've got a background music control, and then you've got a, a page control um, in here. Um, it can also handle either an input from an FXS or an FXO line, depending on where that switch is set. <clears throat> and then you set all these dip switches, basically, whether or not <clears throat> you're paging just from a source like a microphone or a phone line. And then we'll kind of ring, uh, if you do have the ringer. Right now, we're hooked into the paging port, which is these two ports right here, uh, five and six. Uh, there is a ringer port, for example, if you wanted a background ringing uh, to be able to play. Um, to announce an uh, incoming call. <clears throat> and then you can set the ringer to def different types of rings to uh, grab your attention to answer the phone. <clears throat> so anyway, um, I've got this thing set up right now. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is just kind of listen to a little bit of a um, uh, the background music. I'm just playing this off my computer right now. So here we just have a little classical music playing here. It's uh, a little tinny with these speakers. Um, but I just wanted to give you an idea of, of what you get out of the box. I've got the volume way, way, way down low, and uh, so that it just doesn't blast me out of here. In fact, I'm going to turn the volume on the computer down a bit, too. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and dial the phone number to the paging unit. And you hear the enunciation tone. I can talk. I've got mute right now. If I take this off mute, uh, it really feeds back a lot because obviously the phone's right in front of the speakers. And this is a test. Okay, great. Wonderful. So you can hear that it uh, does not too bad, but we're feeding back. Okay. Uh, anyway, that's just a little demonstration of the Viking PA-15 and how that operates, especially with this little kit. Hi. Right, well, I thought I'd take the liberty of just adding a couple of uh, little higher-end speakers. These are for probably more around uh, 40 30 or $40 a piece rather than the other ones that are probably about 15 to $20 a piece. Uh, one's a ceiling speaker and one's just a <clears throat> a, uh, um, <clears throat> a wall mount speaker uh, without the baffle on it. <clears throat> and so I'll go ahead and hit the uh, play button here for the music. And I don't know if you can tell from the video, but the music's a little bit better. Um, and I'll go ahead and page here. Testing one, two, three. A little bit clearer, <clears throat> as you would expect uh, from a little bit higher-end speaker. So, there you go.